uh, packed them in a UV and we saved them. So now I'm just going to go and find um, the UV that I saved and I saved it here and that's it, UVW layout. Okay, so this is a file that we managed to bring in from um, 3ds Max. Um, this was PNG. Let me just run that again, actually. So if I go to UVW, oops, nope, not that. Unwrap UVW mapping, open UV editor and tools render uh, 2048 2048 by 2048 uh, save render save as a PNG um, save yes alpha channel that Sorry. Make sure you click on Alpha Channel. So when you bring it in, it comes in like this. It looks um, like there's nothing there, but trust me, there is. Um, if I was to go create a new layer, put it underneath, Shift F5 to bring fill, and then say, give me black, and it's there. So that's that. And I'm going to call this um, UV. Okay. Now it's up to us. Uh, to see what we want to do with the uh, the texturing of this. For example, <clears throat> um, for this shirt, uh, I could go get a um, image of, let's say, uh, go to Google and call, type in um, um, I don't know. Manchester United images I could get a picture of that copy it bring it in paste it and put that there and hide that and then actually make this double click on it color overlay make this white for now I could go to file save as and save it as a PSD call it uh, texture for example I could go back to my 3d close that close that convert to editable poly what should happen in this case is when I load up the tech if, if I was to load up the texture in here now um, the entire model should be white except the front shirt that ha should have a uh, Manchester United uh, uh, a logo on there so let's go and find in 3ds tutorials um, human body texture okay and apply to the model there you go so this is what's going on here what I could even do I could put a symmetry on I could flip it and bring the mirror so I've pressed the X by mistake in that Okay, and um, maybe even put a mesh on top. Okay, so this now is our texture because I have put a Manchester United logo here, and then the character has a Manchester United logo on it. It looks a little bit weird on my viewport, but I'm sure that wouldn't look like that on rendered it does look like that and um, there sh must be a problem maybe it's just with this image let's go get something else let's go get an image of mm, that's too small um, that's a very bad image um, let's just go get that yeah let's just get that and copy that by the way I am not a Manchester United fan by the way um, Okay, let's just uh, take that one off. Take this off. And let's just put that 
here somewhere. There, so look. Yeah, let's just put that there. And then do a save, come back here. Uh, I mean, in here. Have a look at it. There is something awfully wrong. File, save as PSD format. Hmm. It says a JPEG. See if that makes any difference. And let's just bring in a new standard material and choose the JPEG and apply that to our model. That seems to have fixed it actually. It's the Photoshop file. The Photoshop file is what's causing the problem. Shouldn't. It's definitely not a very uh, common thing. Let's just apply the uh, Photoshop image. No, it doesn't like it. Fair enough. I mean, it doesn't matter because the final image isn't going to be uh, a PSD file anyway. Okay, what we're going to do is, I'm going to get rid of the Manchester United actually. That was just to show you how UVs work. Um, what I want to do now is to bring in um, a cloth material that I could put up there. So I could go, for example, here, and I could go to somewhere like uh, Google, or I could even go to CG Textures. And search for cloth and I could go with something like these actually. Um, These ones are clearly not tiled, which is fine. We could make them tiled ourselves. But uh, let's just go with um, just trying to find a good image. Let's go with this for now. This is login to download. Does this show the? Yes, it does. Okay. So I am gonna put that over there. Oops. Put that over there, so you can't see my password. And put that over there as well. I have interestingly. Forgotten. Yep, yeah, apparently I have because that is not the. Oh, there we go. That worked. Great. Oh. Okay. Good. So you didn't see my password. I'll double check that. Um. So back to. The page we were in, I think I said I want to use this one. Let's go ahead and download this. And let's show in folder, copy that file. Let's take it into fabric there. And let's open it here. Control O. <coughs> bring the fabric, copy it, and bring it in. Um, now we do have an option here because, um, first of all, this is not tiled. We could try to make it tiled. We'll try. 
to do that to make this tiled we need to go to image and image size because we need to know what the size of uh, uh, of the images here's 1024 and that's 661 now we need to divide these by half 1024 divided by 2 becomes 512 660 becomes 330 I believe okay so remember those numbers 512 uh, 330 okay here we're going to go to filter other offset and I want to type in 512 330 I think okay now this line that you see in between this is what's causing your detection not being seamless we could go over here click on the clone stamp tool right click increase our brush size and hardness a little bit and hold alt and click somewhere and try to get rid of that line in between okay so that's one option I'm gonna control all Z to go back a few times oops that was probably too many times I'm gonna go to Windows and history and bring offset back up so the column sum is doing this what we could also do go to the spot healing brush tool increase the brush size and then just go over that and that will also try to fix it for us but again uh, different results maybe the hardness was a little bit too much not bad not bad so it's, it's not as bad anymore okay that's good and then we're going to filter other offset again and then we're going to just turn these back to zero actually no we, I, we wanted to do that it doesn't really matter actually leave it um, what we have to do now is to go to I believe edit new pattern and call this just fabric okay now here I don't really need the layer if I'm not wrong <coughs> I'll click create a new layer double click on it and go to pattern overlay and our pattern should be there that one I think yeah fabric okay so that's our pattern now so we should wherever we go and draw a brush or actually to sh show you what I really mean is if I was to get a really big brush with a lot of hardness and then paint on top you can see that because that's our pattern we're getting that pattern everywhere but we don't want it everywhere we just want it on top of this area so we could go up to our UV here and then get the magic wand and then click on this area but now we have the empty spaces selected so control shift I to invert that or you could go to select inverse same thing doesn't matter and I want to go to the, this layer here I'm gonna call this cloth or t-shirt doesn't matter and I'm gonna get my brush tool and I'm gonna start painting on top because this is where uh, the sorry um, this is where the cloth needs to go like so I probably chose the worst texture for a t-shirt but doesn't matter you guys can be more creative and pay more attention to uh, do this while you do it great if I was to hide everything and then if I was to say control S to save it and then go to file save as could not complete as command because the document is currently being saved in the background well that's probably done now okay save as uh, JPEG and just override my texture okay and if I go to 3s max there we go voila our character is wearing that shirt material so it's a little bit off here actually I might have to go back and tweak the UVs here. It might actually be something to do with the symmetry. Maybe if I was to. Yes, yeah, it once the symmetry kicks in, it starts playing up. 
It doesn't like it. Okay, put the mesh mode underneath and that's what's it out. I'm not complaining. That's fair enough. There's bits there which are not being covered that might need to be need to be fixed. Um, one thing that you see here. Um, over here the patterns are perfect. They're going up and down just like how they should. That's not the case over here. Then they're kind of tilted. The reason for that is because in our UV, I believe this is the back one. This is um, tilted as well. But the texture is straight. That's what we get in that effect there. So what we need to do <clears throat> on this one, I'm actually going to delete what I've drawn here. Okay. Just delete that. Great. I'm going to duplicate this or create a new layer. Doesn't matter. Create a new layer and double click, uh, not gradients, pattern overlay. <coughs> Choose our fabric, press OK. And what I'm going to do is just select an area. It's probably too big, just maybe that much. Get my brush and just paint into it so that I have my fabric. That's my fabric, great. But at the same time, I want to rotate this. Um, the shape is rotating, but the pattern is not. So in order to fix that, what, what, what I need to do, as you can see, as I, when I rotate this, the pattern doesn't rotate. The shape rotates, but not the pattern. Uh, so what I need to do is um, create another layer, control and select both layers, and press control E. That will make it into one. Now if I was to rotate it, it would rotate. And in this case, I think I might need to rotate it this way a little bit. Put that over here. And just save that. Actually, I'll have to save it as a JPEG to be able to see the effect. Let's go and see how it looks at the back. Um, OK, I need to be a tiny bit. I need to start paying attention to the detail now. Um, what I really need to do is to make sure that the lines of the fabric match the direction of the UV layer, which in this case I think it looks, it's like that. So if I was to save that and then go to File, Save As, File, Save As, um, JPEG, and I will click on this, press OK, press OK, go back to 3S Max, wait for it to reload, and that looks good. Almost. I'm going to leave it. That's good. And I need to make sure that this does not um, cover the other texture. So again, I need to go to my UV, select the empty space, Control Shift I, and I need to, actually no, I, I don't need to do Control Shift, I just need that area. And I could go and start, I uh, get the uh, razor tool the eraser tool and just raise oops I was actually erasing the UV I forgot to go on the right layer so just select that again get the eraser tool go on the correct layers and start deleting everything else or at least what's in between great now I could Control D to get rid of everything and then go and fully uh, delete everything except what is already on there or um, all of that needs to kind of go, that needs to go, that needs to go, all that needs to go. Great, that's it. So I could call this uh, shirt front, I could call this uh, t shirt. Shirt back. Okay. <coughs> so t shirts are done. <coughs> Excuse me. But the problem is over here where I have 
let me actually bring this back up turn the UV off save this go to file file save as and save it as JPEG again um, if I show you this without the UV layer that you can see that there's this line and you can see that that's where uh, the kind of meet up and you can see that it's not seamless and it doesn't look very nice. What I could do is go in here and find which side uh, is the part where they meet up with each other. And in my opinion, it's this side and this one, and that's this side and the other, because I think this is the part for the shoulder. What I could do, I could go and search for shirt line um i'm not actually even sure what i'm um looking for um t-shirt texture um just go with t-shirt actually and then let's just do search tool size large <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what I'm looking for is the is the line where they saw the um, the s two sides together. Um, if I can't find, I'll have to just like create it myself, I guess. So let's let's see how it works if if we create it ourselves. So I'm gonna create a new layer, and then I'm over here I'm gonna get a uh, brush. Uh, a brush and get uh, like a maybe a um, white color or more of a uh, gray color even I'm gonna zoom in now this is where uh, your graphic tablet may become useful um, I'm just gonna get my graphic tablet here because we're gonna use uh, Photoshop just sorting that out okay um, Let's see if we can find it. Okay, what I could do now, I could go ahead and try to paint black, um, brown. Um, this is probably a little bit too, too uh, small. So I could kind of uh, right click and then maybe increase the size a little bit, and then just go and create a. Is the hardness all the way up? Why is this not okay? and create a line this is not going to look nice I'm sure it's not going to look nice but we're just trying it for the sake of trying it okay gotta be careful here actually you might have to just decrease the size of that a little okay um, let's just make this a little bit bigger again and go ahead and uh, make that gray line I really hope this is now actually overlapping with any other uh, UVs that we have. Let's double check actually if we open the UVs. It's not touching anything here and this side not touching. Yeah, it seems fine. Okay, let's close that and let's just go to file, save, and then file, uh, save as file. It's just a large file, it takes a while to um, <coughs> save it. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Theorist Max. Let's just. Okay, so it's got that. There you go. That's how that looks. This is how that, that looks. And as I told you, it doesn't look nice. So, I might actually hide it. We'll probably come back to that later on. Okay, so that's that. The other thing is um, bring the UVs up. While we're using this fabric 
let's go ahead and do the sleeves and the inside of the sleeves as well so where is I think it's this one here actually so if I go to my front t-shirt here and I actually create a new one as well double click uh, let me use my pen uh, pattern overlay select pattern and then choose fabric press ok and over here you want to get your brush where is my brush my brush is there right click make it bigger and then just go paint on top of this make it bigger and, oops, and just paint okay great Let's just make sure we actually paint on the right thing. So when we go save, save as, this is really annoying. And all of this because Theorist Max doesn't accept this version of Theorist Max. So like, okay, that's how that that looks. And in all honesty, it doesn't look too bad. I think again because we have the seam problem here, we'll have to come back and adjust that. But for now, I am going to leave it because I'm going to claim that I'm happy with it, even though I'm not. Okay, now let's do the inside, the inside, the inside. Um, I'm not sure which one's the inside. Let's put a uh, unwrap modifier on this, open UV editor, and let's just um, go to face mode and select the this face here and then we can see where that is okay it's this line over down here so with the same one here I might just go ahead and paint on top of that as well okay so what I want to do again is to go ahead select the uh, the empty space on of the UV that is and then just get my uh, eraser tool and then just go and erase Oh, again, I'm sorry, I'm erasing the um, the UV. I want to be on the, uh, the front here, I think, right? No? Um, it's not erasing, so... Oh, that's not it. That's over there. Sorry, I did create a new layer for that. I'm, my bad. Sorry. So just go ahead and delete all of that. And then, of course, come down here, delete these as well, and then do a control D. And might be I have to be a bit careful here, so I'm just gonna reduce the size and delete everything else that I should not have. Technically, you don't even need to delete these because once you will put the texture uh, for the other layers on top as long as the other layers are on top it will be fine okay um, that's that what I'm gonna do because the shirt is pretty much done um, and actually to show you that it's done I'm gonna go to file save and file save as JPEG and use texture press ok press ok Actually, let me hide that and then go to file, save as uh, JPEG, press OK, press OK, and go back to Theorist Max. I could close that and then actually uh, turn, um, I could right click on this and say collapse to. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That is pretty much the shirt done, the t shirt done. That's behaving like that because I'm using my pen. So that's, that's pretty much done. Yeah, I forgot to do that inside bit, but who cares? We'll do that later. So that's done. We can see the seams here. Actually, the effect isn't too bad from the far when you look at it. It kind of looks okay, but we still have to fix it. Anyways, um, <coughs> <coughs> what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm, I think I've, this video has been running for a while, so I'm gonna pause this and I'll create a new video. Well, we'll continue doing the shorts, the shoes, and then so on and so forth. See you soon.